two of the former Amish, uh, Milo and Amish OG, both just bashing my name and all. I don't think you can call it that if you're telling the truth. It's just called being truthful. And I decided to stand up for Milo, and t I know it took him a lot of courage to stand up, and um, I saw the comments you left saying that Milo did it because, you know, his channel's not doing very well. Well, I think his channel's actually doing very well. 200,000 uh, followers, that's pretty good. Uh, I expect to lose some followers over this video, so know that I'm not doing it for clout. Um, I know a lot of my followers follow you as well. They're probably going to get upset with me, but... Uh, since Milo had the courage to stand up and all these other ex-Amish have had the courage to stand up and say how they really feel, I'm going to do the same thing as well. Um, so here goes. Here's what I think about that video that Milo stitched, the one you did with Caden. In the beginning, Caden says, this man, and pointed at Yoder, says, this man left his Amish community because corrupt pedophiles were running it. And Yoder nods his head. And then they show this billboard that he says, we had to put this billboard up because things were so bad in this community and we put it up by the school, and then the Amish community put a fence up between the billboard. Uh, it was never mentioned that was not the community where Yoder grew up. It was a different community called Berkholz, Ohio, which is not even an Amish community anymore because it was disowned by all the Amish. The only uh, person who thinks that they're still Amish is the leader, Sam Mullet. Google Sam Mullet or the Beard Bandit. You will know more about this community. They actually deserve a lot more help than what they're getting down there. And Yoder makes it sound like all the communities, Amish communities are the same way as this one when all the other Amish communities disown this one for the way they act. And I know about the stuff that went on in that community. My uh, brother-in-law is from there. So I know all about it firsthand, and it is tragic, some of the stuff that has gone on. The next part of the video showed some Amish kids, and it said we had to smuggle some phones into these kids to help them out, and we charged them money. And then when Milo called you out on it... Um, you know, you were pretending to be saving these kids from uh, these people that wanted to hurt them. You know, and then when Milo calls you out on charging these kids who didn't have any money, uh, you said, oh, they were 21, 22 years old. You know, they were adults. So that also doesn't add up because an Amish adult can just go into town and buy whatever he wants. I, I had access to my own horse and buggy and was allowed to take it uh, into town by myself at 16 years old. Um, by 18, most Amish kids would have that ability. And I just wanted to add, maybe read Matthew 6, 1, and also uh, maybe Matthew 18, 33 through 35 uh, might be kind of... And know this, while there may be some Amish people who aren't good people, to label the whole community as such just because of the actions of a few is not right and is not just. And Amish people also deserve forgiveness if they are repentant.